Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now. Today I'm going to take a look at two books for beginners about Mac OS X Leopard. The first one is Easy Mac OS X Leopard by Kate Binder. It's a short, less than 300 page book in large format with lots of colorful pictures and easy to follow diagrams. In this book you're going to find about a hundred easy to follow step by step tutorials about how to do very basic things. It's excellent for the absolute beginner. Uh, somebody maybe just getting used to using a computer or has just switched from Windows to Mac and is kind of a casual user. For instance, there's chapters on uh, how to burn a music CD or how to use templates in mail, um, how to uh, view an RSS feed, um, logging in, in and out multiple users, joining a Wi-Fi network, that sort of thing. If you take a look at it, you can see that uh, the tutorials are very easy to follow with big numbers on them and arrows pointing to full color uh, screenshots. Take a look. Here's the tutorial on uh, ripping music uh, from CDs into iTunes. And you can see it's probably pretty easy for just about anybody to follow no matter what their level of experience. The second book is Mac OS X Leopard On Demand by Steve Johnson. And this one goes in a little bit more detail. It's a little longer and basically go, has some more advanced tasks for users that are a little further along. But it also has a lot of the basic stuff too. This book is about 550 pages and contains a lot of detailed topics. Uh, for instance, you can find things on how to, how to remove printers. There's an entire chapter dedicated to Automator, um, synchronizing, tracking information, maintaining your computer, even the hardware. Um, so you're going to find a lot more detailed information. But it also definitely has the basic stuff, like just being able to just uh, get email, join .mac, uh, editing text, and text edit, that kind of thing. So for instance, here's what a section looks like on uh, resetting the administrator password. So there's a little bit more text, uh, but there's still some screenshots, so you can pretty easily follow along. But the topics are more detailed than the first book. Mac OS X Leopard On Demand retails for about $40 and definitely goes more into depth for more than casual user. Uh, I'd recommend it for somebody that has the time to go through all the different things or maybe finds that they need to do some more intermediate tasks and can't find good information on the web about how to do them. On the other hand, Easy Mac OS X Leopard is great for absolute beginners or people switching from Windows and definitely for more casual users like home users. This is something that I may get a friend who maybe got their first Mac and kind of feels they want to know how to get around a little bit more and have some time to do that. Either way, either books are kind of a good addition for beginner users. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now.